Hi there, students. To trip up or to trip over. Okay, these are two interesting phrasal verbs. Firstly, to trip in these phrasal verbs means to catch your foot on something and to lose your balance. Okay, so um, a stone tripped me up. I tripped over a stone. So there's the stone and whoop! Now let's see what I think is interesting. If I tripped up, I don't know if, you don't know if I fell over, if I fell on the floor or not. I tripped over, it's possible I fell, yeah? If the stone tripped me up, it says I lost my balance. It doesn't say what happens next. But I tripped over and hurt my leg. I think I probably hit the ground. Okay. Notice, somebody trips over. Somebody trips over a stone. But also, a stone can trip somebody over. So it goes both ways, the meaning. Yeah. Um, if you trip up, it's uh, when you lose your balance, as I said. For example, I stood on my shoelace and I tripped up. Okay, so you've got the difference. A stone tripped me up, but I can't use, I tripped up a stone. I could probably say I tripped up over a stone. Okay, so a stone tripped me over. I tripped over a stone, a stone tripped me up, but I tripped up intransitive. Okay? Now, there's another phrasal verb with trip as well, to trip off. To trip off, trip off means to initiate something, to trip off a bomb, to trip off an alarm. So it's like you trip over some hidden switch and then something starts. So the wire tripped off the bomb. The, um, uh, the uh, pressure pad tripped off the alarm. Yeah? Okay? It's make something work. Notice in your house, probably with the electricity, you have a trip switch which automatically turns the electricity off if um, there is a short circuit. So a short circuit trips off the trip switch. Okay, it makes it start. So let's go back to trip up, trip over. Something tripped me up. You could use this metaphorically as well. Question six in the exam tripped me up. Question six tripped me over. I tripped over question six. Okay. Um, I tripped over it. It tripped me up, but I tripped over it. So notice trip up, separable. Trip over, inseparable. Yeah. I, you can't put anything between the trip and the over. And then trip off, separable as well. The, uh, the earthquake tripped it off. It made it start. Okay? So, trip up, lose your balance. Trip over, lose your balance, and probably fall to the ground. Trip off to make something start, to trigger, if you like. Okay? So, three, three phrasal verbs. What about formality? I think, as phrasal verbs, these are neutral, ever so slightly formal. They're certainly best spoken. You could probably use them when writing, but they don't sound very formal. And then notice, trip is a regular verb. Trip, tripped, tripped. Okay? So anyway, there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Trip up, trip over, and trip off.